What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the rank ladder with this Tour Cat team. So if you guys are excited, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. So I've been seeing Tour Cat on the ladder for a good bit now, but I finally got my hands on team and I can show it all for you guys. Tour Cat is the second evolution of Litten, one below Incineroar. So it's sitting here with Intimidate. It basically works as an Incineroar, but I believe it's faster and its defensive stats are better because of the Evo light it has overheat u-turn fake out and parting shot so as you guys can see its move sets kind of similar but i've been seeing it a lot on my ladder so i'm definitely hyped to actually try this one out it also has durant on the scene life orb durant with hustle so hustle will actually boost the attack of it and give it like a uh, less accuracy but when it's dynamax it cannot miss so it's just bigger and better attack so durant is an absolute beast on this team we also got the competitive milo tick everyone knows what that does try to get that in with intimidate and it rocks out afterwards that weakness policy t-tar Ooh wee yo big boy right there don't trigger that do not trigger that it is game over after that we got a sylveon with third spray as well with hyper voice quick attack i like having yawn on it too i can eventually put some pokemon to sleep especially pokemon that i think are going to dynamax and then in the final spot with that cassie berry and the shadow tag ability we got ourselves that got tell with psych out fake out as well helping hand and trick room in case we want to run it but what I actually like about this team is it has two fake out users, so I can actually just potentially swap, swap, fake out, fake out, and just keep rolling out from there. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use this team or if you have used this team, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys do with it. But without further ado, let's try to get some wins with this Tour Cat team. Loading up battle number one, we're sitting at rank about 7,000. We're 47 and 42. I know, guys, a lot of people want to see my rank and all that, but we just dropped... 1500 since i haven't played in like two days it's like what you mean i was pushing close to 5000 but it's all good i really do not care too too much about my rank but he has defiant pasimian here so i cannot lead that tory cat uh that's not a good idea that is not a good idea um i think i'm gonna lead sylveon i feel like sylveon is a safe lead into do i bring the rant do i bring the rant i'm gonna go sylveon into bruh, 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 bruh. i might actually go uh got to tell do i roll because i could roll a trick room here as he has like the faster side if he goes faster side, then we can roll a trick room. If not, we do not have to roll a trick room. Uh, I'm going to go Milotic and Titar as much as I want to bring that Tour Cat. I really want to show off that Tour Cat, but it's fine. It's fine. We're just going to go in with this side of the team, and we'll save Tour Cat and Durant for another time. I cannot afford to let the Defiant or competitive Milotic like, just start going off. Like It's not worth it. It's not worth me trying to show it off and potentially just losing the match because of it. But it's all good. It's all good. Let's get it, guys, yo. If you guys want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. You guys already know the deal. Jeans25 on Twitch. We've been streaming four to five days every single week, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time during this quarantine. So head down there and click that follow button. Turn on those notifications. Also, if you guys have an Instagram, there's a link to my Instagram down there, Jeans underscore YouTube. Go check that out. Hit that follow button over there and catch some clips and all that good stuff. But who is he going to go into? This is why I, I'm leading the, the got to tell. Like, if you go Dust Cops, like, I will not roll Trick Room. I won't roll Trick Room because I know I, I can uh, thrive a little bit better there. But if you go uh, Whimsicott, then chances are we're going to throw his Trick Room. Chances are we are going to throw the Trick Room. We're going up against Tom Star over here. He doesn't want the sauce. He doesn't want the sauce. But I really want to show off that Tour Cat. But I guess we'll just save it for battle number two or maybe battle number three. We'll see. We'll definitely get him in on one of these uh, battles. But he goes, oh my god, we could have went into our Milo tick. You hunko junk. You hunko junk. It's okay. We're going into some special attackers. Um, I can go into a Hyper Voice. I can drop a nice big old Hyper Voice here. And I could go for a fake out. Intimidate from Fuego. <laughs> from Fuego's Intimidate. Job sad. Um, how do I go here? Definitely Hyper Voice popping off here. And then going into a uh, fake out. Hmm. You can fake out that Incineroar. I mean, you can get a Tailwind up. I'm totally fine with that. We're going to fake out the Incineroar. If we can land it. If we can land it. He's probably going to fake out me. Hopefully, my Gothitelle goes first. He's going to Dyna... Bro. Okay. He's going to Dynamax that Incineroar. That's totally fine. Maybe we should have uh, went for that Trick Room. And he's probably going to set the hit, set the flare. Wow, dude. Wow. Okay. Might be a WP. A nice little weakness policy. Incineroar or Life Orb. I've been seeing both a little bit. I've been seeing both a little bit, but... He, he decides to Dynamax. Big old cat Pokemon. Turn one. He can eat up our fake out. No flinches allowed. We get a crit. That's what you get, boy. That's what you get. A critical fake out. And a Moonblast by so. And you're going to try to take out my Gothitelle. He's going after Gothi Gothipoo. Leave him alone. Darkness is going to take it out. That's totally fine. Bye bye, Gothitelle. We couldn't even set up Trick Room regardless. We would have died. We would have died either way. But Hyper Voice is going to pop out here. That's going to drop our special defense. Ooh, ah. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. But no trick room coming out here. 
Hyper Voice comes out. Nice big old damage there. And there goes our Throat Spray. So another Hyper Voice will actually take out that Whimsicott. So I'll just go for another Hyper Voice. And then I'm going to double into that. Uh... Do I go T-Tar here? I could go T-Tar. Dying to him. He's an absolute unit. Yo, let's get it. Let's get him. Let's get him in here. We're going to go uh, Dynamax and T-Tar. Trying to trigger that weakness spot to get rolling from there. We could not set up that trick room, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. We're going to get this Sand Stream rolling. Get the Buffets going as well. And we'll drop a Hyper Voice. He'll probably drop a Tailwind, to be honest with you guys. And then I'm going to go... Hmm. Do I drop a Rock? That's the real question. Do I drop a Rock or do I go for the Knuckle for the boost? Hmm. I mean, I do have Quick Attack and I know we're going to outspeed. No, we're not going to outspeed that thing. I don't think we are. Did my Sylveon outspeed him last turn? Hmm. I'm not too sure. I'm going to go for the punch anyway. I'm going to go for the punch just to get that attack boost. That will be pretty big. But here we go, yo. Here we go. If we could get that trick room up, that would have been dandy. That would have been dandy, but hmm. we'll see how this goes. He, he's got to go for a tailwind, right? 100% got to go for that tailwind. He's going to outspeed this fight for the rest of the game. We got to kind of play this one a little bit back. We got big old bulky 410 HP T-Tar who's going to, he's going to probably carry us to victory. He's my dude. He goes for a moon blast. Yo, leave me alone. Go ahead, moon blast me. You eat that one up all day, baby. You're doubling up in the main max flare. That's totally fine. But we're not going to eat that one up, are we? We do not. Wow. This thing's just teeing off. This Incineroar is teeing off. He's going to change the the little bit of uh, the weather. He's going to change the weather on me. I'm going to pop out here with the max knuckle. Just get that attack boost. Then I'm going to drop it back in a little bit. But dang. Dang, man. I seriously thought that we would be able to take out that, uh, that, what's it called? That one, Scott. But this thing has a berry. This thing has a berry. That is so whack. We were getting teed off on here. <laughs> Bad play from us. He didn't let us get that trick room, to be honest. That's a little tough on our end. So we're probably going to go down match number one. We're absolutely getting destroyed. We're getting destroyed right here. Definitely bad plays on your boy's part. Um, but there's still a chance. I mean, I could go for a protect or a recover. I'm going to drop a, uh, I'm going to drop a protect here. El Fuego doesn't want the smoke. And I'm going to, do I drop a rock or do I boost my attack again? I say I drop a rock on, uh, on this guy right here. Because the rock should be able to take him out as we're plus one and we'll get the sandstorm back up. And then, okay, I'm, th I'm thinking Tailwind here now. I'm thinking Tailwind here. Or I hope he doubles up into my Milotic. That could be even better. That could be our chance here. That could be our chance that we need. But yeah, we totally muffed this up. We should have tried to get that trick room. But I wasn't expecting this to come in. Mm, this thing goes for the max guard. Hopefully he shoots. Yeah, he goes for an energy ball. Okay, so we're going to get a turn next uh, next one. That's fine. Rock Falls going to miss. Imagine if we would have made that read. I thought he was going in with the max darkness. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Okay, okay. So now what? Now what? We have one more turn here. I got to set this answer for sure. Uh, bum, bum, bum. I'm going to go Ice Beam over here, and I'm going to drop a rock. I'm going to drop a rock. Get that sandstorm rolling. Just for my T-Tar to get that little bulkiness into him. I believe it gives him a special, special defense boost. And he's going to withdraw and go into... Zwerk Lock, which is going to be Dust Cops. We are not going for a punch move. We're going straight for that rock. That's totally chilling by us. And I mean, if he wants to roll a, uh, a what's it called? He's going to go for an energy ball. That's totally fine. If he wants to roll a what's it called? That's fine by me. Like a tricker? That's cool. I could go into a recover next turn. I could go just straight into a recover, but I feel like he's going to pop back into here and try to go for a fake out. But you can trigger my weakness policy. That's totally cool by me. You can totally not trigger my weakness policy. You can uh, trigger my competitive. If he goes back into Incineroar. So that's that's his goal. That is his goal. But we drop this. We get the Sandstorm back rolling. Bilbskis, do half of this boy's damage. Like, get off of me. Get off of me, dude. Get off of me, buddy. We'll get the Sandstorm kicking back up. No more flames for you, dude. No more flare for you. Leftover's gonna uh, neglect that Buffet damage. And do I just take out the Dust Cops this turn? I think I'm gonna drop a Rock Slide. I'm plus one. Plus one Rock Slide is gonna be pretty good. If we can land both of them, like, yeah, yo, let's get it. Like I said, the match isn't over. I know I made some bad plays, but it's just like, okay, the match isn't over. He goes into him. He goes into the Defiant Pessimium, which is, uh, which is fine. I think a close combat's going to do some work on me. I gotta watch out for that, for sure. Um, I say I go into a recover here. And then I gotta drop. Do I, uh, do I go for a protect? No, because if he goes Trick Room. I mean, Trick Room would kind of benefit me a little bit more. Hmm. Do I protect? Like, what do we think he's going for? There's no way he drops a Trick Room. Like, Trick Room would just benefit us. And I'm thinking he's going to go into, like, a close combat. Into my T-Tar. So I'm going to I'm gonna protect here. I am going to protect try to play this one slow. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Was that a bad play? Was that a bad play? 
He was in close combat. Oh my god, he read the protect. You little buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. Actually, we can recover. We're chilling with that. Oh my god, dude. I knew he was going into close combat. Like, I knew he was going into close combat. Oh my lord. Does this attack drop from it, or is that just defense? Nightshade comes through. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Jeez, man. Buffett comes out. I think it's just his defense that drops there. That is scary. That is definitely scary. Work lops taking damage. <laughs> there goes that. I think he's gonna read the protect coming across from him. I don't think so. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop another recover. If he takes us out, like I'm fine with that. I can drop a rock slide. We're gonna go into another recover here. And uh is that thing's attack down? I think it's just his defense, right? Which is tough. He still might one tap me up. Yeah, it's just his defense. Oh my lord, that is scary. Rock slide. Get it. Get it. We got a rock side. Like, we, we got the rock side. Close combat comes through. Yeah, they're probably gonna take me out. Yeah, yo. GG to this guy. Oh! No! Oh, he gets a crit as well. Boo! Boo! But yeah, I knew this match was kind of over from the beginning. We made some bad plays. I need to get that trick room off. I need to get that trick room off. And he dynamaxed that Incineroar and just ran me. He just ran me from there. But yo, GG to this guy. We're gonna go 0 and 1 here. I'll probably just run and leave this battle. Probably just run and leave this battle. Say, see you later, punks. Just so my Milotic can survive. But he did bring that in expecting me, or he bring the, he brought the Dusk Ops in just expecting me to go for maybe a Trick Room. But, mm, what can you do? What can you do? There we go. We're 0-1 on today. I'm going to run. I'm definitely going to run. See you later. Look at all the stuff that's going on. Like, I'm trying to run, but it's just like Buffets, Buffets, Buffets. <laughs> Everyone gets Buffets, then Leftovers, then this, then that, then this. <laughs> but down on my outtake. Can't really do too much. We're going to run. GG this guy. 0-1. Let's try to get our first win for this video in that next battle. Battle number two coming out here. Guys, we're going to change it. We're going to change it up. I played terrible in that first match. Absolutely terrible, but we're going to win this next one. We are going to win this next one against Whimsicott and Cinnamore. Okay, I'm thinking about going Gothitelle. Do I go Gothitelle and run a Trick Room here? I think Trick Room can be very, very beneficial. I'm going to go Gothitelle. I think I'm going to bring... I don't want to bring Torcat turn one. I want to bring something with a like competitive nature, so such as my Milotic, in case you need to leave that. I'm going to bring Torcat in the back end. And I want to bring Titar. I want to bring Titar here. I want to bring Titar because if we roll weakness policy, I got to get that Titar up. Or not weakness policy. If I roll, um, if I roll Trick Room, I got to get Titar up in here. But I want to bring in that Tora Cat, even though I probably should have brought in the Sylveon, maybe? But we going for it. We going for this win, baby. We're going for this win. I kind of want to go uh, Tora Cat into Durant this round, but I feel like that wouldn't have really worked considering he has that Incineroar. I'm kind of scared of that thing. I'm kind of scared of that. But who's he going to go into turn one? He goes... Elfun and Fuego. There he goes. He's going to trigger our competitive nature. Beautiful. Just what I wanted. And, um, I think I might have seen this team before. Didn't we just play this team? Yeah, we just played this team. <laughs> we just played this team. A team like this. So he might Dynamax out. What's it called? He might Dynamax out Incineroar. Do I say he does that? Especially here? I mean, I'm going to go Trick Room for sure. I can fake out. I'm going to go Trick Room for sure. Trick Room. Do I Dynamax or do I just throw a Muddy Water? I think I got a Dynamax here. Correct? I mean, does he have Storm Drain? That's my question. Does he have Storm Drain? He does not have Storm Drain. He could go Venusaur. That's my question. That's my problem. But I think I might just go Muddy Water. But in that case, I kind of want to fake out. But if he Dynamaxes, that's the problem. That's the problem. But I do got to get this Trick Room off. Uh, I'm just gonna go here. I'm just gonna go over here. I'm not gonna Dynamax. Let's see what happens. He does not Dynamax. He just goes for a straight Tailwind. That That's totally fine by us. Once I get this Trick Room off, now we're chilling. I could have Dynamax. He goes for Darkest Lariat. We should be able to just eat that one up beautifully. Right? Yeah, we eat that one up all day, baby. All day, and we get our Trick Room off. Wonderful. Then I could Dynamax next turn. Do some damage here. Tailwind was a waste. Boom. Or just dump on that thing. Like, no problem. Not even needing a crit. We just do big damage. And we get that accuracy drop on the Whimsicott. So, good play by me to kind of just lay back and not try to push too hard here. But that thing is weakness policy. That's totally fine by me. We outspeed you now, little boy. We outspeed you now, little boy. Yeet. Run that trick room. I'm not playing around this game. We learned from our mistakes. We learned from our mistakes. But let's go into... I could go into... Hmm. Um, I'm just going to go Muddy Water here, once again, and I'm just going to drop a Psychic. I'm going to go Psychic over here. I'm going to double up, up into this side, take out that Incineroar. Like, we got the speed now. We got the speed, baby. And I still got my Torcat to roll in here for another Fake Out user. That's going to be huge, especially in the back end to roll as an Intimidate Mon. So that's good. That's good. We can eventually just pivot out as well. Psychic comes out. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's get him. Let's get it. That's gonna be a double kill here. Muddy Water comes up. Picks it up. Clean. Clean, baby. I might actually have to Dynamax this, uh, this, what's it called? This Milotic. As it is plus one. The competitive is huge. That is how you, like, that is one of the worst things you can do. If you see they have a competitive or, like, a defiant mod, just slow your roll and don't really go into that Intimidate mod. Because if you let them set up that competitive, it's like, dude, it's like, come on. That's big, big, big. I think it's plus two. I think it's plus two, I believe. Right? And I outspeed both of these. I'm going to drop a, uh, yeah, I'm Dynamaxing. Yeah, I'm going to Dynamax here. And I'm going to roll a Psychic over on the Rotom. I'm 100% Dynamax and dropping this. Like, I think I'm plus two. I think it's plus two, I believe. But yeah, dropping this Max Hailstorm. What you want, yo? We're going to clean this one up. We're cleaning this one up, baby. Here we go. I, I can see him Dynamaxing that, uh, that Ivy, not Ivy Sword, Venusaur. <laughs> but I see us eating up. This thing's a big old bulky little mon. But he's probably going to try to double up into us, for sure, for sure. He's got to go into the, what's it called? And I saw my t in the back. It was probably slower than both these mods. It's got it yet, 100%. What happens? Because Venusaur is actually slower than what it looks like. He's going to Dynamax the Venusaur. I mean, I hope it's the the Rotom, but like you can Dynamax the Venusaur. That's cool. Let's see who he goes into. Okay. Okay. I'm down for it. He's going to drop a Max Lightning in me. I should be able to get up with one Max Lightning. And be able to get off another turn and take out this Venusaur. Unless the Venusaur protects you. But let's see. What do you what you gonna do, fool? He does not, he does not. We go for the psychic. The Venusaur is gonna go down here, because we should be slower than that thing. Yeah, yo. Bye bye, Venusaur. We're gonna set the hail. And it comes down to a 4v1. We are sitting so well. Like I said, we took all of our mistakes from last game and just moved them over here. So now we just dominate battle number two. <laughs> this dude don't want it. He doesn't want the smoke. Hey, 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 no smoke. Yes, yes. Max Lightning, I told you. We gonna eat, baby. We gonna eat that one up. Let's go all day. All day. We can actually eat up two of those. Actually, maybe not. The next train's gonna give it a little bit of boost. I mean, I'm just helping hand this. We might not even... This might just be clean sweep. This might just be clean sweep here. This might just be a clean, clean sweep. Yeah, there goes my little leftovers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 All right. Let's get it. Let's finish this one up. Open hand. You're, and I mean, either of these don't really do too much. So, we, no, we're going to go stab. We're going to stab one. What you want? What you want? Go ahead. Cancel the battle. Cancel that battle. What you want, fool? Let's go. One and one with this team. We still haven't showed off Tour Cat, but next battle, I promise. <laughs> Third and final battle coming at you guys. I think I'm going to lead Torcat here. I think I'm going to lead Torcat. You give me really, really no reason not to. I mean, he has a lot of special attackers, but yeah, Torcat can come in here and drop a fake out. I think Durant is going to be a nice little mon here. But, ooh, that's where I got to watch out for. I definitely, I don't know if Durant's going to be a good mon here. Because if he goes Tailwind into Charizard Max Flare, then that's tough news. Then that's tough news. You know what I'm saying? That is, that is real tough. But I'm definitely going to go Torcat. I mean, I think I go, I go T-Tar here. I think T-Tar is a safe lead up against a lot of these mons. Hmm. I mean, you might have overgrowth, but then we could proc weakness policy. Um, so, yeah, let's go here. And I can definitely just fake out the one Scott turn one. You might not even need the rant up in here, but I think I'm, I might bring him in the back end. Let's go. I think Sylveon's going to be a safe call. And then let's go Durant in the back end. Let's go Durant way, way in the back. Way, way in the back and save him for later. Save him for later here. But yo guys, let me know for question of the day. Like I said, I like to answer my question of the days at the end of the video. So let me know who sticks around and watches it. Who was your favorite Evo Light Pokemon? Like, there are starting to be like more Evo Light Pokemon showing up. We got the Dusclops, we got the Torcat. Who else is there? I know there's a couple more Clefairy, all that good stuff. But let me know who's your favorite Pokemon to use an Evo Light on. I don't really have an answer for that, but it's all right. It's all right. We go. He goes uh, Whimsicott into Duraludon. I can definitely see a Dynamax Duraludon going into maybe a Steel Spike. Uh, my Intimidate's gonna pop. Who do I fake out? Probably, I could protect and have him trigger my weakness policy. I could do that. Because I feel like T-Tar might be able to outspeed here. But I could just go, uh, fake out into you. And then go into a protect. Which I think that's, uh, that's the call. I feel like that's a big call here. Let's see what happens. Because I, I can see him Dynamaxing at the route on. Oh, show. Oh, show. But yeah, we absolutely dominate that last match. That was just competitive, triggered, trick room up. We're just bang, 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 bang. See you later. Everybody left and right, left and right. Quick match there. But I, I wonder what he's going to do. I wonder if he's going to maybe pop a sunny day. Like, he can't. Well, we're faking him out. He's not going to Dynamax. That is actually huge by us. I mean, I mean that's kind of bad for us. I should have dropped, like, a, a superpower on that thing. I just murked on it. 
Let's see what he goes for. He goes for a flash cannon. We eat that one up. Okay, cool. Um, we fake out that one Scott. He's not going to be able to do his little tailwind stuff. But I don't see just one flash cannon taking me out. Like, you know? You know what I'm saying? I, so I'm actually going to Dynamax. And then I'm going to Parting Shot on you. Just in case he wants to go for a Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax and drop a Knuckle. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Parting Shot here. Here comes my Dynamax. What you want, fool? What you want? <laughs> Because if he's not Dynamax, he's going straight for a Flash Cannon. That triggers my weakness policy. That's huge. We can roll out. I'm parting shotting, though. I'm going to swap out and pivot out. Until maybe my Sylveon. Get that up in there. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But I think he's going to go with the Tailwind. I think he is going to go with the Tailwind. Let's see what it is. Is he going to go into another Flash Cannon? You know, Fake Tears me. Yo, dude. It doesn't affect me. What you want, fool? Parting shot comes in here. Now this thing is minus one, and we know he's going for that Flash Cannon. We know he's going into that Flash Cannon. So now he's minus one. Fake Tears does not affect me. Toy Cat slides back, and we're going to drop into, um... We go to Durant here? I could go to Durant. I'm going to go to Durant. I am going to get Durant up in here. As he's, as he's a little speedy mon here. And Flash Cannon comes out here. Look at that. We eat up all day. Thank you for the weakness policy. We're going to be plus two. Potential KO here. Potential KO with the Max Knuckle making us plus three. And giving the Durant a boost up as well. So we can go into an Iron Head and just take out the Windscott next turn as well. That's huge. And I mean, he goes into Charizard. He goes into Charizard. Tries to set a Sunny Day. We just drop a rock. We just drop a rock. He's going to have to make a choice whether who he wants out. And I don't think he's taking out my T-Tar in one shot. I don't think he's taking out this T-Tar in one shot. Plus three. Yo, we're playing this one very well to start us off here. But there goes the Buffett's Iron Head can come out here and just clean that up. I mean, he's either going for a Tailwind. I mean, if he doesn't go for a Tailwind, my Durant's just dumping on that Wimscott. And then you have to live without a Tailwind. He goes Draco Fish. He goes Draco Fish. And I wonder who's faster. That is going to be the question. But I'm going to go Iron Head over into you. And I'm going to drop. Actually, I mean, he might go Tailwind. Let's go. Let's go Protect. He's not Dynamaxing. Um, do I go Darkness? Darkness is Stab. Um, let's just do this. He's just got to go Fish's Rend into somebody. Right? Is he going to go Tailwind? I'm thinking he's going after my Durant. Right? I should I should have just went for Iron Head. He's got to go for Tailwind into Fish's Rend onto my T-Tar. Oh, my Lord. What am I doing? That might have been my bad call of the day. Yeah. That was my bad call of the day. Oh, my Lord. Bro, yo, I'm just not having it today. <laughs> no! Are you serious? I might just muff this one up for us. I might just muff this one up for us. Torcat, get out there. <laughs> Torcat, get on out there. He still has his Dynamax. Yo, we, bro, yo, we muffed that one up for us. That one is 100% on me. Bruh. Bruh, jeans, what are you doing? I'm having an off day, guys. Sorry, sorry if you guys see this, but Iron Head definitely comes across here. And then I'm gonna just drop a fake out on the Draco Fish. Maybe I should've just took out the Draco Fish. I should've just took out the Draco Fish. What am I doing? <laughs> bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Oh my lord. Like, I'm not even worried about this one, Scott. Why, why aren't I just dumping on the Draco Fish? Because now Draco Fish is going to take out another mod. Okay. He's going to swap. He's going to go into Charizard. I mean, that's totally fine. I'm going to take out Whimsy Poo. Fake out. That's going to be his Dynamax mod. Right there. Energy Ball is going to fly through all my Durant. Oh, all my Torcat. Okay, that's fine. Why do you go with that? I don't know. I don't know. Boop. When Scott goes down, we can say, see you later, punk. And he's going to pull back out into the, the Draco fish, which is scary. And he's probably going to tap me up. This is probably going to be uh, pretty much a game. Because in that Tailwind, that Charizard's just going to flare. And then the Fish's Ren's going to pop out here. And I'm going to be like, bro, what you mean? <laughs> But I'm trying to think, if I would've just took out that Wimscott there, maybe protected the T-Tar, that, that could've probably gave me the win. But yeah, we playing doo-doo right now. And I have to go Thunder Fang. But yeah, yeah, like I said, this this one's over. This one's over with. I mean, I'll try to U-turn, but double kill coming out. He's got the speed, yo. Bro, we, we played like doo-doo today. <laughs> we played awful. These three battles. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I seriously did hope you guys did enjoy. I don't really like this team too, too much. I really don't. Nothing nothing really about it kind of plays with my style. I don't know. I don't know. It's just something about it. It's just, I don't know. I, I like the rant teams. 
But I usually like to have like a Tailwind user with it. Like this one's just not working out for me. Draco Fish comes in with that Fish's friend, and then the Flare's gonna come out here. And I'm gonna have to run with that Sylveon. But yeah, I usually like to play Durant. Like I really do like Durant, like all around. But like I feel like I need a Tailwind user. Because the original Durant team it was it was with the Whimsicott. And without that Tailwind, everything's just outspeeding it. And and most teams run Tailwind, everything outspeeds it, and it takes one fire attack to take it out. So it's like I can't even get the chance to kind of roll out there and get going with that. But that Fish's Rent did win the game with that T-Tar. Like, jeez, that thing is OP. That's OP. I'm gonna have to run with the Sylveon again. I'm gonna have to run with the Sylveon again. And we go one and two with this team. Not too bad, we got to show off this team a little bit. Play two doo-doo matches, but absolutely dominate in that second match. I'm just gonna run here, say, see you later, punk. Get out my face. We done here, we done here. This guy has it in the bag, obviously. He has a G-Max Charizard in the last round. Like, that thing is one of the best Pokemons in the whole game. But GG to this guy, that is gonna be it. Ooh, rough day for Jeans today. Went one and two. Didn't really play too well except for that second battle, but it's all right. You win some, you lose some. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.